Hi, we're Group E, and this is our project. I'm Ian Phillips, and I'll be starting. Kevin wants to measure the density of water. One of the components of density is volume. To find volume, you use a graduated cylinder. This example of a graduated cylinder has one milliliter tick marks, meaning that's the most certain digit that we can measure. Um, we have to estimate one digit, however, so we go one digit past that. Hi, I'm Uriel, and this graduated cylinder is filled with water to about 50 milliliters. It seems like it's 50 uh, milliliters, milliliters, but because of the meniscus, which is this curved line in the water, it may or may not be around 49 instead. When you measure the meniscus, make sure that you measure from the bottom, not the top. Hi, I'll be Nick, and I'll be explaining how to use the graduated cylinder. So, as Ian and Uriel described, this graduated cylinder goes by a scale of 1, meaning that there will be an estimated digit in the tenth place. Now, using the meniscus, we can see that this, the volume of this water is at least 49 milliliters, and using the estimated digit, we can see it's very close to 50, and we can deduce that the volume is 49.9 milliliters. Now to write down a data table, Kevin will explain this. Hi, I'm Kevin. Since now we have collected all our data, now we need to use a data table to record all of all of our um, data. So for a data table, the number one rule is you must use a straight edge to draw the data table. Now, on the left side, you want to write your trial number. One, two, three, or ho however many trials you've done. And on the top is the data you collected. So, right here, the first column is for volume. Note, you must have the measurements above the values, such as um, independent variable grams. So here, the volume is milliliters. You cannot write that. Um, you cannot write milliliters inside the data table.